One Piece, Zoro's Five Greatest Strengths His Five Worst Weaknesses Zoro is one of the strongest members of Luffy's crew. Despite his legendary skill, Zoro is defined by his weaknesses just as much as his strengths. Roranoa Zoro was the swordsman for the Straw Hat Pirates in the One Piece universe. He has proven his strength time and again, from opponents as trivial as Hachi to ones as staggering as Pika. Every battle has helped him to grow as a person and as a warrior. Despite Zoro's legendary skill, he is defined by his weaknesses just as much as his strengths. By identifying his shortcomings and contrasting them against his assets. Fans can better determine whether or not he is worthy of succeeding Myhawk and fulfilling his dream as the world's greatest swordsman. 10. Weakness, Zoro can be extremely petty arrogant. Zoro's rivalry and Sanji often makes him appear petty and arrogant. He is set off by even the slightest provocation and engages in a scuffle at the most inappropriate times such as in the middle of a Davy back fight. Additionally, Zoro refuses to acknowledge any of his flaws or when he is out of line. Fortunately, considering that his judgment is better than most of his comrades, his inability to correct his behavior does not lead to disaster. 9. Strength Zoro stands up for his friends, no matter the cost. Zoro is willing to stand up for his comrades even at great personal risk. For example, he protected Usopp against Jabra and Kaku despite the sniper having already left the Straw Hat Pirates. He also defeated Hachi regardless of his fresh serious injury from the world's greatest swordsman, Myhawk. Additionally, he saved Chopper from getting killed by Ohm after his exhausting battle against Gadatsu. Ultimately, Zoro's combat skills and devotion make him an extremely reliable friend to have, and half of the crew likely wouldn't be alive if not for his efforts. 8. Weakness Zoro has an over-reliance on his swords. Zoro relies more on his weapons than virtually any other member of the Straw Hat crew, except arguably Nami. Virtually every single technique in his arsenal requires at least a single blade. Though his strongest need three with one weapon lodged impractically between his teeth. However, Zoro isn't completely powerless when unarmed. He managed to perform reasonably well without a sword during a Davy back fight. Albeit noticeably less than otherwise weaker members like Sanji or Chopper. He would be wise to work on becoming a warrior rather than only a swordsman. 7. Strength, Zoro is remarkably durable. Zoro has a shocking amount of durability for someone without a devil fruit. In addition to surviving attacks from oars at Thriller Bark. He endured every last one of Luffy's injuries and lived to tell the tale. He even remained standing after Sanji found him later. It wasn't the only instance of his resilience. Zoro also survived a direct attack from Enaru, who could unleash up to 200 million volts of electricity. As a result, he is one of the Straw Hat's most tenacious members, only falling short of Frankie and Luffy. 6. Weakness Zoro is haunted by his past. Kuina was Zoro's sparring partner and closest friend throughout childhood. The girl served as his first real rival and pushed him past what he thought were his limits. However, she died in a tragic accident, leaving him deeply lost and unfulfilled. Zoro's past clearly haunts him, as he cannot help but to reminiscence about her whenever seeing Smoker's subordinate. Tashiji it illustrates that he has truly never gotten over his friend's passing, especially since she never had the opportunity to become a talented swordswoman like she trained to be. 5. Strength Zoro possesses Herculean levels of strength. Zoro's superhuman strength is reserved for his strongest opponents. It was first demonstrated when cutting down Mr. One in Alabasta in spite of his stout build and steel body. With the benefit of armament hockey and Myhawk's training, 
Zoro was powerful enough to rip Pika apart during the battle for Dressrosa. This was particularly impressive since the villain had used his devil fruit and the area around him in order to become as broad and tall as a mountain. Should Zoro apply himself, there's almost nothing he can't cut. 4. Weakness, Zoro's pride gets him in trouble. One of Zoro's defining characteristics is his refusal to back down from a fight. When Myhawk arrived at the Baratai to finish off Don Krieg, Zoro knew he had to challenge him for the right to become the world's great swordsman. However, Zoro was out of his league and got completely humiliated. Myhawk won using only a tiny dagger without any noticeable effort. Zoro will carry the scar marking his defeat for the rest of his life. 3. Strength Zoro has excellent teamwork skills. When necessary, Zoro has impeccable teamwork skills. Alongside Sanji and the other straw hats, he managed to fend off Hody Jones fishman hordes and protect both Shirahoshi and King Neptune. He displayed similar effectiveness in Foxy's Davy Back fight, where he and Sanji overcame a stronger enemy team despite playing under a corrupt referee. He was also instrumental in the battle against Oars, where he ripped through the giant's arm in a single brilliant attack. Although the Straw Hats were unable to win without Luffy's help, Zoro's presence ensured that they would all make it out alive and in one piece. 2. Weakness, Zoro constantly gets lost. Zoro's most debilitating flaw is that he has a horrible sense of direction. Whenever not explicitly traveling with a crew member, he gets hopelessly lost. This was first demonstrated in Syrup Village, where he arrived late to fight Kuro's pirates due to taking the wrong route. It was also a problem in Sabaity, where he misremembered the labels on great trees and accidentally stumbled into Charlos. Were it not for Jewelry Bonnie's assistance in faking his death, he would have caused an incident arguably worse than what Luffy did. 1. Strength, Zoro is so fast that he can leave after images of himself. Zoro's speed is just as impressive as his strength and durability. During the battle for Ini's lobby, he moved so quickly that it appeared as if he had several arms at once. Despite Kaku's training as a CP9 agent, there was no way he could have anticipated the swordsman's blades. As a result, he was cut down and left for dead in the ruined Tower of Justice. Zoro was also fast enough to eliminate a small army of mercenaries at Whiskey Peak without waking up his crew at first. 